Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments, and ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. It's a monster weekend internationally in the racing world as the long-awaited $10 million Dubai World Cup will finally take place. The, the champion here at home, California Chrome, will have one of his biggest tests to date as he takes on the likes of Frosted, Mishawish, Key Nice, Hopportunity, and others on what is a star-studded day at Maidan. There's also a few big races here at home in the States, including some big ones at the fairgrounds and including a Grade 2 event here on Saturday at Santa Anita Park. The fifth race on the 11 race Saturday afternoon card is the Grade 2 Santa Ana. The Santa Ana is a mile and eighth event for older fillies and mares, and while it did not draw the large field that we are accustomed to seeing in the turf races of this nature in Southern California, it does appear there is a standout, at least for what I'm seeing. Number one, Her Eminency, returns to the races after a rather ordinary effort in her first start back off the layoff in the Buena Vista last time out. The winner of last year's Grade 1 Queen Elizabeth II Challenge Stakes at Keeneland is, appears set for a monster effort on Saturday in her second start of the four-year-old campaign. As you, if you've watched before, I absolutely love playing horses in the second start of their four-year-old campaign, especially if it's second off the layoff. It's just very often that it appears to be a career best type effort. I also think just by watching the race and by listening to the connections last time out, you know that, that uh, Her Eminency needed the race. And gosh, was it evident by the ride that Joe Talamo gave her. I'm not sure if he was given the instructions to move early and be wide throughout just to get a race into her, but it was not one of Talamo's better efforts. He just refused to save ground and move too early, and she tired late at the mile event. The mile and an eighth should be to her liking, and I think she should sit an absolutely perfect trip off the front-running glory. I expect Glory to take quite a bit of money up front at the windows as well, based on the fact that she looks to be at lone speed. While I respect her and her connections quite a bit, the Tapa Philly has had this kind of situation before and not come through. Thinking back to the Robert Frankel, late December, she had a clear lead at the same exact distance, looked like she should get home and finish third. Well, like I said, I respect Jerry Hollendorfer and Fox Hill Farms a ton and think this filly does have some ability. It just seems that she is not that great at closing races out. So I definitely prefer number one, her eminency, to the front-running glory. I also expect Nancy from Nairobi for John Sadler to take plenty of support at the windows, and deservingly so. Two monster efforts in a row from this one give her a shot. However, I'm completely concerned about regression as well as the move up in class. The other three runners do not appear to be at the same level, and including Neshoba's Gold, who to be honest hasn't been the same horse since back in 2014. Maybe she can wake up, but I just do not see it. So in terms of wagering, I'm not sure this is a great betting race. Perhaps her eminency will be up, will not take as much money as I hope with Gloria and Nancy from Nine Roby, but I'm a little bit reluctant to give this one out as a top bet of the day because she may just simply be too short of a price. I expect her to win the race, though, for sure, and I expect Glory to run either second or third. Nancy from the Ruby will take money and could run big race, but like I said, the regression makes me not want to use her at all. So, good luck on Saturday in the big race. Enjoy the Dubai World Cup and keep enjoying those basketball games. Wow, March Madness has been unbelievable so far. Go Badgers and have a great day.